Yo YouTube everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm playing some more rank play, but I was trying something different. I was trying to play like a BZ. I just watched him the other day in the CDO versus Warzone kind of show off, whatever it was, show match. And um, I just wanted to look at his playstyle and see what I can implement in my own gameplay. So this gameplay is going to be trying to change up slightly and try to play like a BZ. Now one of the biggest factors and one of the biggest things I noticed in his gameplay was every single time he approached a corner or a window or anything he was constantly jumping around the corner now i i obviously knew that that every player you know jumps a lot but when i say he jumped on every single corner i mean like every single time this guy was challenging something he was jumping around the corner and i want to just kind of try it in my own gameplay and see how it goes so you're gonna start off on this p2 we're doing pretty good here going through i'm gonna to try to get the spawns here and in this situation i didn't even see that guy yo where was he that guy was tucked in the okay he's behind me all right i thought he was tucked in the corner but yeah going into the p2 right now we're down we're up by about 20 points here i'm spawning the other side of the map so i'm gonna push through there's a guy on the top there i'm gonna see what i can do we're gonna wait for him to challenge now that stun grenade actually threw me off but what i was trying to do is wait for him to challenge and try to just shoot him in his head get that headshot multiplayer and get the kill but not a good situation to be in luckily enough that our teammates kind of got into the spawns and we somehow oh no 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 i did what i, <laughs> I don't even know why i tried that i don't know how to do that jump so i don't know why i thought that would work there but yeah my teammates managed to get the spawns we're gonna push through i hear him behind me gonna turn around jump get the jump shot and again every time i see somebody now i'm gonna try to jump and what i'm trying to do is a bit of an experiment i'm trying to improve as a player and by doing so i'm trying to get the best attributes of as many cdl pros as as possible and try to bring them all together so right now i'm working on my kind of jumping as an smg my aggression and just winning more one-on-one -on -one gunfights which is the bz model so let's see how it works out the next time i'll maybe go for shots his movement selium's finesse maybe dashy shot my aim is to become the ultimate player and this is one of the episodes where we're going to try to improve hopefully you guys can follow me on the journey and improve as well so we're up by about 45 points here going into the next harbor which is pretty good now how can we break this p3 this p3 is quite difficult so we're going to go through the right hand side with the smg and what i'm going to try to do is just go for that first kill once we get that first kill it'll be a lot easier so we're going to get a stun off we're going to go through my teammates get some kills we see that guy we get the nade off and this is a perfect opportunity to push through as soon as that nade you know attack that guy it was a great opportunity to push through we're going to watch these stairs here watch the door now as i'm approaching this i know that somebody's going to be pushing me so i have to be very very cautious here make sure i'm ready for the fight we spot one I'm going to back off man i don't want to mess with that guy you know i do not i do not want to be involved with that he's going to push through it he's going to be out in the open i'm going to go through get a kill and now it's just about kind of getting the trade and trying to get the rest of the time here so 25 seconds left we did a really good job of breaking this hill because you guys know this hill is not an easy hill to break so we're gonna go through the front we take out one and what i'm trying to do here just spot the second guy some really good shots there to be fair we made him one shot but we're not gonna be able to get the kill so we're gonna back off win this gunfight hopefully he's not even looking at me okay yeah that was a that was a trolley gunfight again the trades are going through but i'm actually happy with that so we got scrap time on p2 p3 although they had a big big kind of hold on that we actually managed to get some time so great play from us gonna push through here and now this is what once again i'm gonna try to bring out that inner abizi try to win these challenges now what i want to do here in this situation is basically just win a lot of these these smg gunfights around the hill and hopefully my teammates can play on the hill and we can get a bit more time here. it doesn't look like that's going to go to a plan because my teammates did die on the hill and right now i am kind of chasing kills seeing if i can spot anybody i could be playing in the hill but i'm gonna let my teammates do that and i'm gonna try to slay around them so we're gonna go through the front here and just use our sound cue we spot one good shots we take him out gonna chuck a stun on the bottom and a nade and just see what we can do we spot the second guy that's really unfortunate no come on my team it has to be winning that we made him one shot my team it has to be winning that but we'll take it up by 51 points there so we're gonna go through the left hand side here and see what we can do my team is there we're gonna spot one we're gonna turn around i was like okay drop shot maybe could have done the drop double jump there but that was just not great reactions from myself and my opponent was able to win the gunfight 15 seconds left here in this situation we don't really want to challenge this what we want to do is just hold this and that's a really really bad challenge i even remember in the game when i did that challenge i was like right that was just a really stupid challenge because he was in a position where he was already pre-aiming me i was essentially walking into his pre-aim and then aiming in which isn't ideal but that's a good jump shot right there something you guys definitely want to implement in. we're gonna go for the jump shot and what i like to do is basically jump once for the angle and then jump the second time to actually get the kill now we've got the tag 56 watch that far angle get some strafe off take him out and what we need to do right now to be honest is just hold this position just get some you know get some kills on the top here let my teammates set up and we should be good for about 30 seconds we spot this guy here and this is very important both players are looking at me instead of over challenging here we're going to back off play our life go through a different angle see if he peeks himself doesn't know that that's going to be the case and if we can play our life here we'll be good to go man we go through we take out another player go through to the p1 i know they're going to be spawning on my right so we're going to pre-aim it and just like that so we're in a situation where we will basically one shot on the top we repositioned we're able to get two kills and that's just a really big takeaway from this map so far right reposition when when you can 
can, and it will definitely, definitely help you out. So, going to go through. Great kill from my opponent, and we're doing pretty good now. 15 kills up again by about 45 points. Now, with 10 seconds left, right, I'm going to start to worry about P1. I'm going to go through the middle. Sorry, go through our spawn. And what I want to do is I want to basically hold this side of the map. This map, this side of the map is so much more important than the other side. So, I'm just going to sit here. I'm not worried about the hill. Like, they can have 10 seconds here. That's okay. I'm playing for the long game. I'm playing for P1 and P2. We make this guy one shot. So, what I'm going to do is actually go prone, wait for my teammate. And unfortunately, man, great play from my opponent. He actually came through the top. I wasn't expecting that. And just like that, we've actually flipped the spawn. So, what happened there was, because me and my teammate both died on the other side of the map, we end up spawning with my other teammate who was top map. So... He should have maybe rotated earlier. We would have been in a good position and fight, um, fought for the map control with us. But because he didn't and we lost our gunfight, we actually spawned out, which is okay. We're going to go through. That's a really, really lucky nade there to get the Semtex off and the stick. Yeah, so we're going to go through 24 seconds, turn around. We get a 2 piece. going to pop the dead silence. And right now, I'm just trying to go through before they expect me to be there. Go for the re-challenge. The re-challenge is a very effective way sometimes of winning gunfights, especially when they're not expecting it. And yeah, going to push through. What I tried to do in that moment, right, is I spotted two people on the P2. So I was like, right, if I could just finesse through, if I can get into that gap go into the fortress there go into this area i could be able to play for spawns but luckily enough we spawned there anyways we go through make this guy one shot he's gonna go for the three challenge oh no i that's such poor shooting for myself as i jump around that corner again i should have done my inner bd should have shot while jumping around that corner i don't know why i stopped to be honest with you but the game's getting closer and closer now we're up by 20 points what can we do we're gonna go through we get another kill we're gonna back off wait for my teammates to help me doesn't look like it's gonna be the case we're gonna challenge it ourselves he's there he pushes through and that is the classic re-challenge i spoke about earlier you see right there he actually got some great timing with the re-challenge and to be fair to him he played it exactly how he needs to he went for the re-challenge he took his gunfight and he played with confidence i did not mean to have my knife out there but this hill is looking uh, looking quite mixy now it looks like the rest of the time is going to go to our opponent and that's okay with 25 seconds what i'm going to do here is try to get a kill and then play for the new hard point and it actually works out really well we get one again go for that jump shot we get the second kill now all we're going to do is back off and this is where we can really start to get some time so my teammates on the scrap getting about 10 seconds so we're going to be up by about 30 seconds here now this for me is make or break for the game if we can get about 40 seconds here we should be able to win the game so let's see how we play this one out i'm looking at the mini map and i'm just trying to help my teammates on the left just before they push me on the right we spot one the second guy does does die and my teammates actually get two piece so we're going to just wait take my time as he approaches me we're going to go for a nice little movement there you go so we let him jump around the corner first and as soon as he was in my sight i actually jumped there just to get the momentum and get the advantage so it's working out really well i'm trying to dodge the grenades right now obviously it's quite difficult without a trophy system but i'm trying my best to play my life and every second that goes by is going to us so this is great right now the the, the nade does push through and again just playing my life here and that's a scenario where to be honest with you i could have done a bit better with my shouldering i knew somebody was going to be there my challenge that like my aim there wasn't to to challenge that gunfight it was just to kind of go around just to distract them and make it harder for them to kill me but instead i challenged the gunfight and yeah we did die and i lost us a lot of time there to be honest i could have got that time and this could have been a very different game that's okay because we managed to get about 35 seconds we get one i spot the second guy so make sure i'm centering onto him we go through gonna jump to the top pair and again i'm constantly thinking in this game right how does a bz approach gunfights it doesn't mean i'll be able to win as many as he does but it's just kind of the mentality of how can i approach the gunfights what can i do to make it easier for me to get those kills so we're going through here in the left hand side gonna chuck a stun grenade which is a great stun good use of stuns gonna go around the corner and again it's just one of those scenarios where i'm, I'm made the right play but that's really really poor shooting i shot just above his head there i need to center slightly better and we'll be able to get the kill we're pushing through there's an enemy right there i don't understand myself like how can i win that gunfight at range and i get fried in the other gunfight that's just a lot of inconsistency that I definitely need to work through we go through oh my god again <laughs> i jumped over that guy's head man and he just fried me so i think we're doing a good job though overall we're up by 50 points here we're definitely in control of the game and it's quite simple to be honest we're just effect uh, rotating effectively as i stunned myself <laughs> we're rotating effectively you spot a guy on the right gonna wait take my time make him weak as i make them weak what i like to do as well is i like to go prone because what that does is basically acts like insurance right so if i make him one shot i can re-challenge him again another nice little jump shot there so you can see this game i'm trying the jump shot a lot more every time every time i'm approaching an angle i'm trying the jump shot and it's really helping me out there sometimes like that example there it probably isn't the best use of a jump shot because he's literally prone waiting for you so waiting for me sorry so i know that sometimes i need to work on my positioning and when to challenge when to not challenge but that will come with more time we're gonna go through the left there, jump around the corner we get an okay maybe not i thought we got that kill but right now we only need like 12 seconds to win so literally my teammates doing a great job i'm gonna watch over them with 44 seconds this is a good good scenario to be in but it looks like my teammates get two piece on the hill gonna push through they get three piece so i'm gonna try to slide across there what i like to do is like just take my time here get a kill or two
two. We only need nine seconds here, so we're not too worried. It's all about getting the kill and rotating for the spawns. Unfortunately, everyone does die once again. And yeah, this is where things can get a bit scary because they get us in this spawn trap. But luckily enough, no one was holding spawns for the enemy team. So what that means is I actually have a free gap here. That stun was on purpose. I wanted to, I wanted to chuck it behind me and take my time. I spot one there. And what I'm thinking here, right, is okay. We need nine seconds, okay? So don't worry about if I die here and we spawn out, this can be very, very scary. So instead, let's just take our time, play in the back, wait for my teammates here, and all we need to do is get maybe like two, three seconds of the new heal. So I'm literally going to sit here, not doing anything, just blocking the spawns, making sure that my teammates are with me. And as soon as we have a bit of momentum, we're going to push through. So I'm waiting for my teammates on the left here. And this is very, very important. Sometimes you just want to wait for your teammates. We go through, there you go. We open up the blood. My teammate pushes through. And just like that, within 10 seconds, we're able to get four down, literally because we waited for my teammates. So right there, we actually managed to finish game with the most kills i think it was a pretty good game we won by 60 points in a basically a crimson lobby as well so yeah i think overall i played that pretty well one thing i think um, in terms of criticism for my own gameplay is sometimes knowing when to not challenge and just working on my timings and stuff obviously sometimes it's good sometimes it's not but yeah we're trying out here hope you guys are enjoying the series so far if you are make sure to drop a like and i'll catch you in tomorrow's video peace